What's up adventurers? Welcome back to the Northwoods and welcome to the next video. Today we're going to take you along on a trip that we took this summer to the coast of Lake Superior, home of the Whitefish Point Lighthouse and the Great Lakes Shipwreck Museum. There's plenty to see here, so we welcome you to come along with us and explore Whitefish Point here in Michigan's beautiful Upper Peninsula. The lighthouse here at Whitefish Point is at the extreme southern eastern end of Lake Superior and is a crucial point for all ships entering and leaving the lake. This turning point in the lake marks a notorious 80 mile stretch that reaches from Unison, Michigan to Whitefish Point and is also known as Lake Superior's Shipwreck Coast. Of the 550 major shipwrecks in Lake Superior, at least 200 of them are known to be in the Whitefish Point area. Look at all the seagulls out there. Lake Superior, unlike the rest of the Great Lakes, was formed by volcanic eruptions around the lake over a billion years ago. Because of this, the shoreline is a rock hunter's paradise, all while listening to the waves crashing on the beach, feeling the crisp breeze off the lake, breathing in the fresh air, and enjoying an experience only Lake Superior can offer. The story of the Edmund Fitzgerald doesn't start here at the Shipwreck Museum. The ship launched in 1958 and at the time was the reigning queen of the lakes as being the largest vessel on the water at 729 feet. But the story of the fate of the Edmund Fitzgerald begins in the early morning hours of November 9th, 1975, when a low pressure system was starting to build in the Great Plains as it worked its way into the Great Lakes. During that time, the Edmund Fitzgerald and another vessel, the Arthur M. Anderson, were leaving port to make their way east towards the Sioux Locks on their way to the lower Great Lakes. On November 10, 1975, the Anderson reported receiving hurricane force winds exceeding 75 knots. Shortly after, the captain of the Fitzgerald radioed that they had lost both their radars and was taking on heavy seas over the deck in one of the worst storms he'd ever encountered. The Fitzgerald was in the middle of a superstorm as it approached the coastline of Whitefish Point. The last communication took place as the Anderson asked how the ship was weathering the storm. The Fitzgerald replied, we're holding our own. Shortly after, the Fitzgerald broke apart and sank into the icy cold waters 525 feet to the bottom of Lake Superior, joining those before and along with it the entire crew of 29 men. 
join us for a moment as we honor those 29 men and all those before them. The Great Lakes Shipwreck Museum's 45th annual memorial for the Edmund Fitzgerald unfortunately this year won't be held in person because of COVID, but will be available online via live stream. I'll include a link in the description down below if you'd like to attend that memorial. After touring the museum, we headed over to the lighthouse to view the keeper's quarters. Restored to what it may have been like in the early 1900s when lightkeeper Robert Carlson and his wife Anna lived and kept the light for nearly 30 years. The Whitefish Point Light Station was established by Congress in 1849 and is the oldest operating light on Lake Superior. It has continuously lit the dangerous waters of Lake Superior ever since. So before we head back to the campsite, we've got one more stop the Whitefish Bay Roadside Park near the Taquananam River Basin so we can go ahead and get the drone up and get some pictures and footage of this beautiful area.
trips like this that let you get in touch with the outdoors and let in the beauty of nature that's around us all. These are the type of experiences that let you realize that finding true freedom is an adventure. We're finding ours, and you can too. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video.